Jackie Kennedy was born on July 28, 1929 in Southampton, New York. She was the daughter of a Wall Street stockbroker, John Vernal Bouvier III, and her socialite mother Janet Norton Lee. Jacqueline's mother was of Irish descent much like her future husband's father. However, her father was of French, Scottish, and English descent. Jackie lived in a Catholic family. Years later her sister Lee was born in 1933. Jacqueline's father called Jacqueline the most beautiful daughter a man could ever have. At a young age, Jacqueline was a great horse rider she even took ballet lessons and she even was fluent in Spanish, Italian and French, and English. In school, her teacher described Jackie as a darling child, the prettiest little girl, very clever, very artistic and full of the devil. The after of Jackie had drinking problems and had extramarital affairs and the family struggled with the Wall Street crash of 1929. Both of Jackie's parents separated in 1936 and divorced four years later. Her cousin said that Jackie was deeply affected by the divorce. Jackie's mother remarried. Jacqueline tried to get used to her new father. Later she attended college and she even won an editorship in Vogue. Jackie spent her time in Paris and before starting her job she celebrated her college graduation with her sister and they worked on an autobiography called One Special Summer. Years later Jackie met Senator John F. Kennedy and they married in 1953. Jackie wore Ann Lowe's dress at the wedding 700 guests attended the wedding and after the wedding, they honeymoon in Mexico. Years later John F. Kennedy suffered from Addison's disease and had chronic back pain but JFK had an spinal operation. Additionally Jackie suffered an miscarriage in 1955 and gave birth to a stillborn daughter named Arabella who died after birth. In November 27, 1957 she gave birth to Coraline Kennedy and in April 21st they posed in an issue of life they were campaigning when Coraline was born and they traveled through the campaign. On January 3, 1960 JFK announced that he would run for president and Jackie became pregnant and she stayed home and helped work on JFK's campaign. John F. Kennedy defeated Richard Nixon in the 1960 election and in November 25, 1960 Jacqueline gave birth to John Fitzgerald Kennedy Jr. and spent two weeks in the hospital. John F. Kennedy was sworn in as president in January 20, 1961 but Jackie started to stay away from the public eye but she was famous and even won an Emmy Award for her tour of the White House. Jackie and JFK went to many places and JFK made many speeches too but sadly Jackie lost her child Patrick in 1963. This loss caused Jackie to go into a depression but this depression would expand when JFK and Jackie decided to go to Dallas, Texas for JFK's 1964 campaign. But sadly JFK was assassinated in Texas and he was buried on JFK Jr.'s birthday. Later Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson was elected as president in Air Force One. She was standing next to the vice president in her pink suit that is now hidden until 2103 requested by her daughter. Years after her husband's death she married Greek shipping tycoon Aristotle Asais but before the marriage she made a few public appearances and she had a great relationship with JFK's brother RFK. Sad news came when Asais's only son passed away in a plane crash. Asais started to get sicker and passed away. Jackie never remarried after and came back to the public eye and was photographed by many people. She continued being an editor. Jacqueline's kids grew and Jacqueline even became a grandmother. Jacqueline even supported Bill Clinton's campaign. Jackie Kennedy was thrown off of her horse and later she went to the doctors and was diagnosed with non-Hawkins lymphoma and her health rapidly declined. Jacqueline passed away in her sleep in May 19. 1994 and her son announced her death to the public and she was laid to rest next to John F. Kennedy's grave.